Okay, good morning everyone and a very warm welcome to our 2018 AGM. Um, we've got a few organisations represented here this morning, so I'll just introduce you to a few of them. We've got Bill Walker here from Where Are Mines Group. Good morning, Bill. Uh, thanks, we're Peter Wolf. Morning, Peter. And then over the back we have Alan Claridge and Neil from the Rivers of Living Water. And we've got Pam and Alison from Livability at Holton Lee. Um, the main events that generated income for the popping place last year were the Easter morning, which raised 193.77, the village quiz, which raised £98. We received a grant from the Skipton Building Society of £500, which enabled the downstairs room to be redecorated, provided new blinds and tablecloths, and to get the carpet clean. I hope you all agree that this has made a notic noticeable improvement. Mm, it's really bright, isn't it? <coughs> During the course of the year, we supported the following good causes, and thanks must go to the regular attendees of the special cafes who enabled us to donate the following. Macmillan Coffee Morning raised £255.39. BBC Children in Need 263 pound. Worthy totals for worthy causes, I'm sure you all agree. Our summer show was written by Pastor Jim and was to be his last script. Way Up West raised a fantastic 1,564 pound and 24 pence. Thanks must go to Brian Benjafield of Cheap Print in Dorset for supplying the programmes free of charge and to many of the cast who provided their own costumes and props, especially guns. <laughs> the 1,564.24 was then donated towards the church roof fund. A donation of £1,000 was sent to Dorset County Hospital Cardiac Fund in memory of Pastor Jim, so they could install a music system in their unit and they have a problem. <coughs> Where is the Love was the Christmas production and focused on our community and friendships. Once again, supported the, the village, of course, supported the production by buying tickets for the show and the obligatory raffle, which enabled us to donate £548.04 to the firefighters charity and £365.36 to the... Latimer. Latimer. Latimer Community Church, who are supporting the survivors and community near to Grenfell Tower. The total raised throughout the year was a truly commendable £4,583.70. <laughs> The income from the new to use sales has increased recently with the pan shop located in the foyer. Special thanks goes to Kim Benjafield for managing this. Total income from sales for the year was £377.17. <coughs> Without the tireless work of the volunteers in the cafe, we would not be able to fund the rent for the sessions and new initiative for a monthly Wednesday afternoon cafe, which has started well. The total income from the cafes for the year was £925.83. That's a lot of 50p's. <laughs> That's a lot of coffees. <laughs> Many thanks must go to the regular supporters who are the backbone of the popping place, as well as all the volunteers. But we all need some encouragement and management. And we were delighted when Alison was presented with the Prime Minister's Point of Life Award in recognition of her many years of work in our community. Joanna ends the day, if re-elected, I would be happy to remain on the popping team. Joanna Syrup, May 2018. We're now going to read the annual report. Um, I'm afraid some of it overlaps a little bit, but um, we've got some extra thank yous to put in on different events. Morning, Chris. Morning, ma'am. <laughs> nice to see you. So, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone for their continued support and to the volunteers who help in the kitchen, the pine shop, and who help with setting up in the mornings, those who run performers group, those who run puppets group, and those who provide transport. 
I would also like to say a massive thank you to all of you who provide and donate cakes, raffle prizes and support our events because without you we wouldn't be the success that we are. Lynn. Last year's event started with a successful Easter morning. Thanks to all of you who donated eggs or made bonnets and helped to keep this really old country tradition going and it turned out to be a really lovely morning. The village quiz was as popular as ever and we do thank Susan Stone for all her efforts with writing the questions. Simon Walker's team won the Shield last year. We need teams for this year's quiz and that is due to take place later this month on Wednesday the 16th of May. Yes, so if anyone fancies entering a team for that, you can come and put your team forward after this meeting. In June, the performance group staged Pastor Jim's last script, Way Out West. <coughs> this was a wonderful tribute to Jim and raised £1,564.24 for the church room. We also donated, as Joanne rightly says in her report, £1,000 to Dorchester Hospital Cardiac Unit. Also in June, we staged a great get-together and welcomed MP Michael Tomlinson. This was part of the many great get-togethers organised all over the UK in memory of Joe Cox MP. We made a wall of love at the back of the hall and people wrote what they love about their community. Lynn. In September, we had our popular Macmillan coffee morning. And as everybody knows, this is classed as the world's biggest coffee morning. And we raised £255.39 for this wonderful charity. Also in September, we organised the Pastor Jim Memory Walk in aid of the Work for the Alzheimer's Society. This was very well supported and £976 was raised on the day but many donations were pledged direct to the Alzheimer's Society. We look forward to walking again this year on the 15th of September. Yeah, 15th of September, get that date in the Marie, because every year we want to try and build on the year before and try and get more and more people walking for a world without dementia, so 15th of September. October, we held our volunteering awards during an evening with local band Rapport. And the volunteering awards this year went to Volunteer of the Year, Rodney Osmond, Outstanding Commitment, Lynn Simmons, Young Volunteer of the Year was Millie Brown, one of our very talented uh, performers group members, and Maria Critchell had a special recognition award for her outstanding performance of Calamity Jane in Way Out West. November saw children in need, and December we staged a show entitled Where Is In Love in Ada's Grenfell Tower. Yeah. And I just thank everybody that put the donations in for Linda. I'm ever so sorry, I've got a receipt, I've left it on the table, and you raised £100 for Linda's memory, and we're going to get a new Le Royal Legion branch flag for our at Corf Castle because they said she'll always be flying. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> right. Good morning. Uh, my wife Sarah and I moved to Bear Regis just uh, almost a year ago. One of the first places uh, we were introduced to was here, the pop in place. Uh, our neighbours suggested we might enjoy the move movement to music classes which we both enjoy very much and look forward to attending each week. Uh, from group members Lynn and Andrea. Um, one of them says, Hi, uh, I'd just like to say thank you for funding the movement to music on Monday mornings. Uh, I think I speak for all of us when I say how much we all are benefiting from it physically and for me socially. Julie is, a great, is great at getting us uh, motivated and we all leave feeling good. I hope our Monday sessions can continue. I can recommend them. We are very grateful to the committee. Uh, please keep supporting the movement to music. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's Kim Benjafield has worked incredibly hard running the pine shop 
and she actually took it over and it opened up out there on January the 19th and she's done a little add up I think Kim um, of how much she's taken to date so what, what are we running at from then Kim? Well since the 19th of January when I took over till 30th of April we have made £237.85. Oh, pounds. Thank you, Kim, and thank you to everyone that buys things and also brings things in to sell because it's important that we have things to sell. So, if you're thinking about uh, getting rid of some nice quality books or ornaments or um, gold or, 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 or royal doll, we'll, we'll have them. Good morning, all. My name is Charlotte, and I'm a volunteer here at Poppins. Poppins means so much to many of the residents here in Beer Ages including myself massively. The volunteers here at Poppin show so much love and dedication to so many causes, always showing willing to help all. It is because of these great volunteers <clears throat> that I never felt alone in my time of need. There was always a friendly face to listen, help or advise, and sometimes just some company when I needed it. So I thank you all. Now I'm a volunteer myself, hoping to give back to the people who have helped me and to be there for those who might need some too. I feel the Poppin is not just a community cafe but a family and I've been coming to Poppins now for nearly three years and I hope to continue coming for many more to come. Thank you. Oh. I just wanted to say um, what a lovely warm welcome I, I was given even before we'd actually moved in. Charlie, I think I saw you first. My first visit in Liz. I came in here when we were having viewings and it was just lovely and welcoming. Um, so that was great for me, um, but then I thought, oh, well, I've heard about the volunteering, so I'll come and see if, if I can help at all. Um, so I barged my way in one day and met Alison, and she um, introduced me to the um, pop-in players, the amateur dramatics, which has been absolutely fantastic for my daughter, who's nine, my youngest. Um, we weren't able to get her into the school here, so she's found it quite difficult to make friends, and it's just been transformative it's just fabulous so just thank you well, thank you jo. first of all i'd like to say uh, thank you to all the people who do the driving um the volunteer drivers because um having moved to winterbourne kingston recently if it wasn't for them i wouldn't be able to get here and back and everywhere and it means a lot to coming into poppins and seeing everybody um because uh I don't know a huge amount of people in Little Winter Kingston and um, I know everybody here so it <laughs> stops me feeling quite lonely and isolated as well. Right, uh, we run uh, Poppins Family Cafe on a Thursday morning and we have recently had um, some more people popping in. Uh, we try to advertise it as you don't have to have children with you, you could become be, um, be expecting or um, if your children have started school um, and you want to just come in and socialise and talk and um, meet some other people of the same age, uh, we think we're quite friendly. Um, sometimes it can get a little bit quiet during the winter period, but um, it generally starts picking up again as it gets warmer. Um, and uh, we welcome lots of mums to pop in, have a cup of tea, a chat. Um, we've got lots of toys for, for children to play with. Um, we enjoy doing it and um, I'd say thank you to all the other people who help out as well um, and hopefully we can carry on doing it um, for the long run because I think it benefits um, uh, quite a lot of people in the village. Yeah. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. The preparations for our summer show are going really well. Um, the show is entitled Our Last Summer and it features some well-known and popular songs from the supergroup ABBA, who are making a comeback, mm -hmm. yeah. apparently. That's of ours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we set trends here, we set trends. <laughs> <laughs> um, tickets are now available. Don't miss out on this because Friday night's flying out already. Um, it really is the greatest show. Forget Hugh Jackman. Come and see our local <laughs> um, This year we are raising money for the Southampton Immunotherapy Centre. And it is a new way of treating cancer 
by using your own immune system. It's fantastic research. They've had some fantastic trial results. So a massive thank you to everyone who has been doing all this knitting. You'll notice that there's loads of beautiful knitting all around the room. We've actually got bags of it. Alan, I don't know if you're going to be able to take any of this today, but we're getting a bit short of room. Um, I'd like to say um, a big thank you to Dorothy Crow, who's a lady that lives in our coast. She's over 90, and she said to me, um, I really would like to help. I can't knit. I don't know what to do. Can I buy some wool? Well, yeah, that would be fantastic, I said. So uh, for the whole year, she has been buying bags of wool in Poundland, or what, is it Poundland? It's yeah, it? I think so, yeah. Um, and bringing them in, so she's actually been helping our lovely knitters with, with getting some wool, so big thanks to her, and thanks to everyone that has done the blankets. Um, it's hard to guesstimate the number of blankets, but I think Margaret and Les have probably already deposited about 40 blankets earlier this year with you, Alan, and I think there's probably equally that number here, um, so massive Massive thanks to everyone that does that. And of course, somebody, where is she? Somebody has to sew these blankets together. And there's, I just don't know how you do all this, really. Um, we just like to give you a card and some flowers to say a massive thank you for all your sewing um, because you're amazing. Two. <laughs> During the last year, we have seen a lot of changes, um, and um, after 20 years, 21 years it is, we really do miss Colin and Gwen greatly um, on our team, but it's lovely to see them both visiting our cafes on Mondays. Um, Thanks must go again to Liz Gale, who sets up on a Friday morning, and to Jill Hart, who comes and does a setting up on a Monday morning. Um, and they've sort of taken up the task of doing that, what Gwen did. Charlie Bates has been amazing um, this year. She's been running the rotor, as Gwen used to, and she makes sure that there's cover for the kitchen. Um, so grateful thanks to you, Charlie. And massive thanks to Amanda, who has been doing transport and helping at the cafes. You've put in such a lot, and we really do appreciate it. On behalf of like Doris and Val, massive thanks to you. And also to you, Vicky, for doing transport. So thank you so much for all the other things that you do. And thanks to everyone that helps out in any way. Um, so I'd like to say thank you to Lynn, who's been the secretary, and to Joanna for all the hard work with the accounts. <laughs> Between us all, we are committed to being here for people when they need us, and that is something incredibly valuable, and thank you all, so please keep up the wonderful work. Thank you. Charlie, could you turn me on <laughs> I'm going to preside over the election. May I have nominations for the team leader of the Popping Place for the forthcoming year? I'd like to nominate Alison Bennett, please. <laughs> Do I have a seconder for that? Yes. yes. Well, there you go there, <laughs> Are there any other nominations, in which case the sky with black is black with hats being thrown in the air? Well done, Ooh. Alison. You are the <laughs> uh, What a fantastic group you've got here. I mean, it's incredible. And uh, uh, the cohesion you have is something like the lion. So that's wonderful. We all work together to support each other. Quick thing about Lions Comedy International, because you can get all this on our website. We've got hundreds of them in websites. There are never seen so many websites one organisation. Lions is completely self-funding. That's what people all say, where do you get your money from? We actually pay to be volunteers, if that makes sense. So every time a disaster happens worldwide, we have huge funds because we appreciate that we're a vast organisation. We probably think we're the biggest um, service organisation that there is. And it, we started 101 years ago in Chicago. And from that little beginning where a Chicago businessman said, let's support local communities, which of course is almost is what's happening here, 
local communities, it became international in three years, and that is businessmen supporting the local communities. You're, you're, it's amazing, the community you have here. But what we want is if you can, if you can help in any way, and it's possible, we will. That's what the lines are there for. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Probably we have the greatest mention of your blankets that have ever been. Because the head of the hospital in Bulawayo, he was, uh, he came out and he never realised before how many blankets and how well they were done. A anyhow, this coming year, the blankets which you've done and worked on so much will meet the needs of so many people. It gets difficult in the years because we have to raise money for sending out and doing it. But I tell you this much, the work that you've done is absolutely exquisite. And the blankets are so lovely. And last year I think we had baby clothes as well. And those baby clothes went to the orphanages. I've got enough, you're on here with the pictures here, and the little part I put in the newsletter this year says, through the constant work of knitting, hundreds of blankets and baby clothes, special mention has to be made, or was made by the head of the hospital regarding the exceptional input of the pop-in group in Bear Ridges. Wow. Thank you, Alison and friends. It was on television over there, it was on the radio, all that you've done, and I do appreciate it. And we love coming along to all the events that you do as well. So we're very blessed with you, and thank you for all you're doing, and you're going to do as well. Thank you, Alison. And the leave that so take this opportunity as well to say a massive thank you to you Alan for everything that you do for the people of Zimbabwe. You are amazing. Thank you.